Hey boys and girls, here I am in my darkroom and um, I'm going to show you how I make my Extol R. How I season a batch of stock Extol. This one is my seasoned replenish that I've been using for quite a few years now. I've, I've got a, a liter of stock Extol in a tray right here, 20 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to season this in one go. How I'm going to do that? Well, I've got six 8x10 sheets of garbage film, just film that I've screwed up. Um, and I just keep on hand just in case with stuff like this. And I've got six. I've got like HP5, three sheets of HP5, and three sheets of, um, I believe by the notch code, that is F key infrared. Sadly, messed up some of those. All right, let's get going. Ooh, even the water is still kind of purpley. Not too bad. Let that drain off. Timer. Agitate. Shuffle. sheet of film through. This one has an image on it and I'm going to be doing it in the dark. So when I'm done that, I'll come back to you guys. Okay, just give me a few minutes. Well, that one's a blast from the past. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a church that I photographed on, a First Nations church actually. Ooh, that's about 2008. Oh. Why did I not develop that one? Well, that's fine. Okay, so I increased the development time for this one by about 15%. It looks pretty darn good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replenish um, the Hextol because it should be seasoned. It should be at that stage where I can replenish. And I'll show you how I do that. So I'm going to pour all the developer back into this paper. I replenish at one milliliter of stock developer per square inch of film. 8 by 10 sheet is 80 square inches, so that would be 80 mils. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour off 80 of this um, seasoned Extol and add fresh Extol. I'll add 80 mils of fresh Extol from my stock container. Or fresh stock, 80 mils. And then I'll pour this into my storage bottle. Squeeze out the air. And that's my new bottle of seasoned Extol R. Now the next time I use this, <clears throat> it could be a roll of 120 film. In that case, um, it's basically the same. I'll pour in 500 mils of this Extol R into my developing tank. 
and then when it's all done I'll pour it all from the developing tank into a, another container. I'll measure out 80 mils um, from the seasoned bit, bit that I just used and I'll add 80 mils and then I'll pour it all back into this bottle and I just keep doing that. If I do two rolls of film then that's 160 mils, right? So on and so forth. And that is it so far. This has been a very economical way to use Extol. I'd like to give a shout out to um, the boys over at Fotrio.com and uh, especially to Matt King for pointing me in the right direction. Thanks for joining me. Catch you guys later.